guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, <clears throat> I will be reacting ring to episodes one and two of Minami. Okay, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. I have no idea what the hell this is about. It's a Patreon show, so <laughs> we gotta put the Delulu Vicky cop on because I, I mean, I'm guessing it's a comedy. I'm not sure. Um. I do know this is also a longer series. I think not, probably not as much as Saki. So don't expect it to be as as it took long as Saki did. Because Saki took way, way long. And I don't want to go in that cycle again of that in the future. Especially with this and the other show that I'll be um, watching next and stuff. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one. Top truck over here? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a comedy. It already gives me... I'll say this. One. This also feels like something I probably would have watched in middle school. Middle school me would have definitely enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, how probably even elementary school me would have enjoyed it too. But it also gives me um Azumanga Dio feels. And and I say that about a lot of shows. I said that about um Daily Lies of High School Boys, <laughs> like a lot in that reaction series. We missed our reaction series oh so much. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, we got a commercial too. So it's just the three of them? Their parents are only with them? <laughs> oh yeah 2007 oh my god i was in seventh grade jesus i was baby well no i was middle school teacher but still baby Oh, you wanna, you wanna help too? Oh, I know that's right, but usually on Sundays I work. But I am free this Sunday! Oh, honey.
Maybe she was hanging out with someone. Like a friend. Wait, hold up. She just called her a bitch! <laughs> Well, yeah, your cooking skills, you know, suck. <laughs> Her potato peeling, Jesus. Why she got Pocky in there? Oh my God. <laughs> and besides, the faster you help her, the faster you can do your homework. Looks like we gotta go to the store. Smart thing. Well, like spaghetti. Okay. Yeah, have breakfast for dinner. Yeah, I mean, you really can't mess up pancakes. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Kana, you're already, you're messing it up already. You use that as toppings. Just make regular old-fashioned pancakes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does she have soda? Oh, my God, I'm scared. Oh, Aww. Right? I mean, that's a little wrong, but you know. Get what your teacher. Everything that we see on TV and, you know, anime and everything. Yeah, that's fantasy. Don't make it a reality.
I, I have a bad idea about that. Mm hmm That was a female teacher? I thought that was a student, though. Okay. Um, so then how can you tell? How can you even say? <laughs> Your big sister going to walk in the room and be like, what the hell? <laughs> the, oh. I mean, well, nothing. Oh, my God. Aww. <laughs> How about no? She punched the shit out of her. <laughs> Me and my days off. Like today, yesterday, and this whole weekend after tomorrow. It's time to go. Well, yeah, you're right. Because you didn't eat. Well, yeah, I mean, they tried to wake you up.
Mm, there you go. On the kitty. Mm hmm. So that you do have time to eat. Yeah, you can. If you also get up early and then immediately get re ready to go to school, then boom, you can also have school lunch in the mornings. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Of course, he has a crush on him. You ain't, Kana. What the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, you didn't even open it, though. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of a love letter. So, star player, popular, cutie. I don't think Chiaki is envious of you, Kana. It's just, mm. Hmm? Okay, point him out. 
He picked you. I mean, it does, but specifically not today. She had barely little to none energy because she only had one Onigiri. <laughs> you think it's a challenge? <laughs> oh, Chiaki. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I really just think it was just a love letter. So that's why he kicks her all- he- she kicks him all the time in the opening! He's looking at her like, what the hell you talking about? <laughs> Kana, Kana, Kana. Oh, I'm just thinking like, this is a bad idea. Okay, so first initial thoughts. Yeah, this is super duper cute. Like I said, it does give me the Daily Lives of High School Boys feels, Azuman Dayo feels. How I, there is one more, and it's one of my personal faves, also be also Busse feels, except you know, and that series are, it's three best friends in this. We're dealing with three sisters who all live together and such. So the chemistry is clearly there, especially when you have a group of three, whether it's guys, girls, whatever, um, two girls and a guy, two guys and a girl-ish. I, I love me some trios. It, it just works. Like the power of three is literally the best thing in the world. But they're all adorable, but I love their personalities. I mean, Kana, <laughs> Kana gives me airhead vibes. But in a cute way, Chiaki is the, our, our middle child who is like, almost like the voice of reason between her and Haruka, but Haruka is like the number one voice of reason, but I felt like a little bit like Haruka <laughs> might end up like, because she is, you know, the oldest and she is the one who is the most romantic-esque vibes, possibly, um, Especially, okay, for an example, the moment when they were watching that little cute short, or the story, and, you know, the characters were getting intimate, she was like, oh, did it change, which is the typical thing a parent or an older sister would do, which is super cute, because she's like, oh, I can't have them watch this, like, no, this is a little X-rated, we can't show that, and it's adorable, because, like I said, all of our parents did that to us, like, especially if you were watching, um, let's say a horror movie, R-rated movie with them, and then you know a scene is coming up. <laughs> it, it's hilarious, but you know, when you get older, when you have kids, you're going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> or, or like, my personal favorite thing is, um, and I did this to one of my uh, my friend's kids, because I'm like, okay, if it's to the point where I'm like, it, we want to talk about something, I literally be like, ayo, <laughs> ear must. <laughs> Because my parents, my mom did that with me too, and I'm just like, it, 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 see, here's the funny thing about that. They think that we don't hear, we can't hear them. We still hear y'all. Unless you get me some actual headphone headphones, it, 
yeah. No earmuffs like this. <laughs> like, oh my god. But no, they're really adorable. But no, Kana, the guy that has a crush on Kana, poor baby, it literally was just like, I want to write this letter for her. I want to tell her how I feel. Da 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 da. And because Chiaki's like, no, this seems like a challenge, a letter of challenge. But clearly, it was a love letter. And he, I'm, I'm guessing he, of course, he wanted her to come to school have a moment to chat with him and then eventually for him to you know once they get to know each other a little bit more to eventually confess to her but <laughs> delulu <laughs> happened and, you know <laughs> kind of like no he wants to challenge me so i think what we're going to see for this whole entire series is any moment that these two are together she's always going to kick him and he's going to be okay with that because, you know, hey, that's probably something that he's going to like about her. And every single week he's just going to fall more and more in love with her. And yeah! <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two in three, two, one, go. <laughs> she did not just say that. <laughs> that had to be Chiaki. What? Why? Why would you want to quit school? You don't be able to hang out with your friends. In order for them to get it and understand. Okay, what's wrong with the uniform? Is it because <laughs> the skirt's too flowy? Your thighs? Uh, well, okay.
Okay, I, I get that. Now, the best solution is you can wear certain types of shorts underneath your skirt so that it doesn't look like someone's looking underneath your skirt. Exactly. Girl, you squeezed it. She ate it all? I thought she squeezed it all and, you know. <laughs> Good job. She tried to tell you, but she wasn't listening. Oh, my God. <laughs> the girls in the background. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing. You're you're too young. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know. You're not of age yet. You just still you you're a child. Be pure and precious. Be that. Be pure and precious. And don't lulu. Lulu. You just don't want to know. Oh my god.
Okay, then come on. You, just come. Or just do the homework when you get home. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, Chiaki. Just drop it. And she is still on this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh no Right, I mean, the next thing you know, you're not going to remember everybody's nickname. No, that's... <laughs> Yeah, like for an example, um, the guy with the certain haircut from Nez de Fossil High School's Fiber Guide, Coconut Head. <laughs> no, thank you. Boy A! <laughs> you boy B!
Have one for yourself. <laughs> You are a dumbass. <laughs> right? I mean, you you lay <laughs> <laughs> I feel for this kid. Oh. <laughs> he went like, what? <laughs> you gotta be gentle. Damn, he still gonna be there by the time everybody leave? Even dirt. Oh my god. Kay, go home. Go home. Oh. Well, where else is she supposed to study? Yeah. And Kana, what are you trying to do?
Ooh. But what? Right? I'm about to say, like, how are you supposed to know what page the question on? I don't even know that. Oh, dry plum? Oh my god. No. We're still on that. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't need to know, babe. And 400 words or less. That was cute. I love how she literally was like, yes. <laughs> Instead of doing the 400 words or less, she was like, yeah, nope, mm-mm. Let's put that aside. What you want for dinner? <laughs> and they both fell for it, though, perfectly. But the fact is, I feel like both Kana and Chiaki, like, this is gonna be a moment in a weird way. I feel like that's gonna come back to haunt them. It may not happen in this season, but either season two or season three, or however long this show is as a series and such, something just tells me we're going to have another conversation about, you know, not, not really even the birds and the bees because it, it was going that way. But Haruka is definitely going to have to have the birds and the bee conversation with these two. <laughs> because... <laughs> Kana, Kana can't explain for Jack Ash, and Chiaki is way too freaking curious. I mean, I get it because I think when we were all kids, we were all curious. We all wanted to know. So if you didn't find out from your parents, you either found out from your friends or you found out on the internet. That's why majority parents now are very, um, I wouldn't say strict, but in a way, yes. Um, they're very much like, hiding their their kid from a lot of things but you already know the kid's gonna find something at least but okay um Ka no chiaki chiaki with, with the ish giving everybody in her class like nicknames <laughs> girl <laughs> like to me it's sad it's so sad how she called the boys boy a and boy b Girl, you two girls, you call them girl A and girl B. <laughs> girl.
Girl, what the heck is this show? I mean, seriously, I love it though. We only got episode two out of like however long this series is overall. But it is really cute. It's really wholesome, adorable, and funny as hell. I mean, honestly, it, it's just, we're going to have some good, fun ass time with this show. I, I mean, I can imagine like me being at work until like laughing about the crap of this shit. Because like, it, it's just really funny. It, it's super wholesome and shit, but it's also fucking hilarious. It's like, I was not expecting all of this to go down in two different episodes, but seriously, like, it is just top tier. I, I literally cannot imagine how this is going to go for the rest of this dang series, but definitely... I'm super excited to see how the rest of this goes. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Me Nami K. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.